Foot Osteotomy's Wizard. The Foot Osteotomy's Wizard enables orthopedic surgeons to take unilateral or bilateral anatomical measurements, compare them to normative standards, and to simulate corrective procedures. Easy-to-use wizards help surgeons produce a wide range of anatomical measurements. Each measurement is automatically compared to the normal parameters published in the literature and to the contralateral limb in the bilateral module, providing instant evaluations of patient anatomy. Measurements and evaluations integrate into patient files for an easy transition to digital radiology. To use the Foot Osteotomy's Wizard tool, specify whether you want to measure unilaterally or bilaterally by selecting the appropriate radio button from the drop-down list. Follow the steps in the wizard and mark the relevant points on the image corresponding to each step as shown. The following shows an example of the image after the 27th point has been marked, bilateral option. Once you mark the 28th point according to the instructions, you will be asked to adjust the marked points. The anatomical measurements are shown in the top left corner of the measurement tools tab. The following measurements are calculated using the wizard. Hallux valgus angle, HVA, the angle between the longitudinal axes of the metatarsus and proximal phalanx of the big toe. Intermetatarsal angle, IMA, the angle between the longitudinal axes of the first and second metatarsal bones. Distal metatarsal articular angle, DMAA, the complement angle to 90 degrees for an angle between the longitudinal axis of the first metatarsus to its distal articular surface. Select the Store Preoperative Measurements checkbox to store the associated measurements. Foot Osteotomy Simulation After completing the foot deformity measurements, a simulation of osteotomies can be done. Be sure that you stored the measurements from the Foot Osteotomy's wizard before proceeding. For osteotomies, define the fragments using the Define Fragment tool, which is accessible from the toolbar and the menu bar. Double-click a fragment to cut the fragment. Then, choose the exact location of the osteotomy in the Location of Osteotomy window. The red circle that appears after completing the osteotomy is the axis of rotation of the fragment and should be placed manually on the medial or lateral cortex of the bone for the opening or closing wedge. Simulation of the osteotomies can now be done by moving the green dot or by clicking on the control key of the keyboard while moving the distal fragment. Multiple osteotomies can be done from the same procedure. Now you can zoom in and measure the osteotomy's parameters, such as length angle and so on. The projected post-operative measurements are displayed in a table in the Measurement Tools tab.